Welcome, problem solving fans, to another problem of the day. And this one is all about jugs of water being split between glasses and mugs. So let's have a look what we've got. We've got a five litre jug of water shared between six glasses. And we've got a six litre jug of water shared between nine mugs. Which contains more water, a glass or a mug? Now, easiest way to do this is to figure out what one glass contains, how much water does one glass contain, and how much water does one mug. So, one glass, question mark, one mug, question mark. Now, let's do the glasses first. So, five litres is the same as 5,000 millilitres. Because remember, one litre is 1,000, two litres is 2,000, three litres is 3,000, four litres is 4,000, so five litres is 5,000 millilitres. We need to share that by six. So we could just do a simple bus shelter. So 5,000 shared by six. As for the mugs, well, six litres is going to be 6,000 millilitres, and that's going to be shared by nine. So again, that's going to be another bus shelter. 6,000 shared by nine. So what we need to do now is work out these two bus shelters and see which one has the biggest answer. So for the glasses, we'll go sixes into five won't go, but you haven't really used the five, so you have to carry the five across to make 50. Sixes into 50, eight sixes of 48 with two left over, sixes into 20. Three sixes are 18 with two left over, and sixes into 20 is three sixes of 18 with two left over. So if we put the two left over and now turn that into a fraction, because we're dividing by six, it's two six. So basically what we're dealing with is 833 and two six of a milliliter. So really 833 milliliters plus a bit extra go into one glass. Now we need to work out exactly the same way we need to work out for a mug. How much water is in one mug? Nines into six won't go because nine's bigger than six. We haven't really used the six, so we carry the six to make 60. Nines into 60. Well, six nines are 54 with six left over, so that now makes 60 again. Nines into 60 is six. 54 remainder six. And nines into 60 again is six nines remainder six again. So the final remainder is a remainder of six. And because we're dealing with dividing by nine, it's six nines. You turn the remainder, the remainder itself would also be divided by nine. So that makes a fraction of six nines. So in one mug, there is 666 and six ninths of a milliliter. So the final answer then, one glass contains 833 millilitres. We, we don't really need to look at the two sixths of a millimetre because it's not really going to make much that much difference in the final answer. So one glass is approximately 833 millilitres and one mug is approximately 666 millilitres. So which contains more water, a glass or a mug? Well, clearly the glass because 833 is more than 666. Final answer is a glass.